Hi Pisces, welcome to your town love reading. My name's Sophia. <clears throat> so I couldn't get much from my meditating at the beginning. I got a little sideline about health, lungs and the heart. Something might be, you know, going on there, someone's health. But apart from that, I couldn't get anything. So let's jump in with the cards and see what they say. Check out the Facebook group. There's loads, tons, tons of additional information there in the Facebook group. I post in there and others post in there as well. Free programs and advice, all that kind of good stuff. Links in the description box. So let's jump in. Yeah, there's something with the heart as well. I don't know if it's health or to do with this situation. Let's have a look. Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and Temperance. Then I'll jump into these. Knight of Pentacles. Slow. Hmm. So what I'm picking up is that you was in a situation that took slow to develop very long actually because the knight of pentacles is the slowest and it's the first card so it took very long <laughs> to develop into anything now that's developing into you taking long to jump into something here it's lack mentality on both sides it's jumping into doing something that makes you boss up Is what I'm getting. Um, jumping into your happiness. This situation which I'm seeing, which is could be with you, is, <clears throat> for example, say there's a job vacancy and you want to do it, but you're not going to apply because that's a lack of mentality there's something here about i keep getting bossing up but you're not doing it why not let me see temp yeah look temp knight of pentacles is the slowest then you got temperance which is slow again yeah the only other one is hanged man right so there's something here that is no, oh, this is this is about bossing up, and I feel this on your part. There's something here about take it, take. It's not power back. What is it? Taking control of a situation that's so slow. It's about facing your fears. This is about balancing out your masculine and feminine. The planet's already doing that. To be honest with you, the the, the Neptune ret retrograde. Neptune is the healer planet. Retrograde means it's closer to the to, to the planets come closer to planet Earth. So it affects us more. So for example, if Mercury is retrograde, which most people talk about, which is actually coming soon, Mercury is about communication. So that planet comes closer to planet Earth and it uh, messes up communication because it's such a high frequency. Um, it doesn't actually mess it up. It, it just makes things more clear. So you make your communication clear. So obviously, it might come out as a negative. You have an argument, but the argument kind of clears things, doesn't it? So this is Neptune working on pulling out your masculine so you boss up for a situation that you keep stalling. There's something you keep stalling. that to do with money. Mm, there's a pattern here as well. Yeah, so do with money. This could be an old mindset, like mentality of a behavior of I have to pay to put the children in school, in college, in this, give the children stuff. There's some kind of something that financially is an old mindset that's keeping you behind. yeah it's interesting the judgment is trying to wake you up to it there's a fear of lack of control i'll give an example here it might not be your situation it might be for example it's something to do with money so say there's children here is there children here no so maybe maybe there's a, a children that is asking you for money for to pay rent because they moved out and they can't afford it 
there's something here with that. Some kind of situation where you need to boss up and say no. Because the lack mentality is uh, rich people teach their children's lessons. Now, you go out and you struggle. You know, if I had an empire, right, something like that, and, you know, don't just expect that you can just work in here for free. You have to go and make it from the beginning, make it for yourself and stuff like that. Um, so lack mentality is, oh, I'll help you, I'll give you this, give you that. The the, the um, So they're not learning here. There's something, I, I know it's a different reading, but it's all connected with loving yourself. Because to me, I feel like you're doing stuff that's different for yourself, but there's an obstacle that you fear of losing. So you might think of your children, oh, fuck off, mum, fuck off, dad, and you'll lose your children. But at the same time, you know that you, you won't lose them. So it's like, it's a pattern. This is keeping you stuck. And you might think, oh, that's fuck all to do with love. It is, because this is people-pleasing. So they're trying, the universe is trying to stop you from having this fear to do with pentacles. Like I said, it could be bossing up to in a job and taking control, your power back in your job. Being more confident in your job, confident to say no to your children. Something about confidence with money. So then when you have your next relationship, you can then stand up for yourself. There's a... With the temperance here, it's like the temperance is balancing out the negative and the positive. So it's like they won't bring in a, 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 a relationship with the moon card because that darkness will still repeat to a new person of people pleasing. Paying for things. You might go for a meal and you keep paying, you keep doing this. Some, I don't know, that's what I'm getting. It's about you saying, well, no, I'll pay half. This whole year was about the lovers, and literally that's what it is. The whole year is teaching you all aspects of yourself, the planets of love. And this might be one aspect you have to work on, and that's standing up to... I don't think this is standing up to a boss. I don't feel that energy. I feel like going for the job you want to do, being an entrepreneur if you want to do it, something about your money here, right? If um, something to do with children I'm getting... It's about, yeah, being more masculine, coming out of the old, outdated way of, oh, I'll just pay them, it will be all right, oh, it's something like that. The moon underneath you, yeah, it's part of your path. It's part of your path here. In this situation, the advice, if this resonates with you, is about, um, say, if, say it's, now, people say feel the fear and do it anyway. That's bullshit. You've got to know what the fear is, right? So that's what I would say. I, I, I give, I, you get counselling. If you're struggling with this, get counselling. I've got answers for this. But the shortcut is, for example, I there's a lot going in depth of different ways and it's more of an individual. But if uh, family members want money from me, I know they're going to ask. You know the pattern. So just think of the bullshit excuse not to give it. Or just tell them the truth. I've given you enough. It's not learning. No. This is about you manning up. It's a wake up call for you manning up and stop delaying manning up. There's something you've got to man up with. Man or woman, you know, this is about rising your masculine. Neptune is the planet of healing. And what he's doing at the moment is healing the masculine. That means men and the masculine within women need to rise. Wake up. Right? And that's what this is. So... In this reading, you need to rise up about something to do with the pentacle because you're delaying, right? Maybe not sorting out your finances because you're overspending on a situation that you're addicted to. I don't know. This is what this reading is. The moon card, let me go back to that. That is, yeah, it's about getting the strength to do it and stop getting emotionally pulled in. Like I said, that's why I was saying children. The moon is emotions. Mother, right? could be a mother and children are pulling your emotional strings and you've got to teach them that no, that's what life is out there. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, you could be scared of arguments. This is like, if it is children, because it could be children, you, you're hoping that they will just mature, right? No, 
If you give them money, they will just constantly ask for money. That's it. <laughs> All right. They mature when you mature and stop giving it to them. 40-year-olds do ask for money. That's what I feel with the Knight of Swords. It's like, oh, over time, they'll be all right, they'll be sorted. No, there's always bills to be sorted. There's always, look, the country's put up prices. There's always going to be something unexpected that you're, something's going to happen here. So like I said, it's a wake-up call to stop delaying sorting out your finances. That will love, this is about loving you. Because like I said, there's no love here. So this is focusing on loving you and taking that money back. And it's like as if you're, um, say it's your children. I don't know if it's children, but say it's children. It's like when they don't ask, then you buy. It's like, no, this is your life. It's your money, right? You don't, you're work, still working around them. It's, uh, there's some fear here. What do you fear? And that's what you need to work on. What do you fear? Because people say, like I said, feel the fear and do it anyway. I'm like, no, that's just avoiding the fear. The fear is the key of everything of what you, and ah, oh, that's why this is all about fear, because fear is the closest frequency to love. And most people fear instead of love. So the planet Neptune is getting you to masculine because it's like it's tilting into your version of love. So if someone comes around, you might be feared to lose them because you could have had someone here you stayed with so long because you feared to lose them. And they're, and they're saying you need to work on that fear. And it's something to do with your physical, right, or money, something like that, working more on that fear. If you don't know, counselling. We do um, ask a question now, it's fake by quick. And you can get, you know, whatever that question is, We'll answer it and give you a selection of videos or whatever, wherever. It's always a money back guarantee, whatever services I offer. Check out the counsellors on the website or go to Facebook and see who you resonate with. But there's a fear that needs to be addressed here because, like I said, I don't see love. There, and this is why it's taking so long for you to find love with the patience and because you have to balance out jumping into the unknown. Like, okay, what if I go for that job with the money? What if I tell my, keep telling people no? There's something here about that. People pleasing. Let's see what these cards say. What's with the, let me see what the Knight of Swords, I need more information on that. What's with the Knight of Swords? Yep, this is what I got before. You're waiting for something to mature. Like, okay, in time, they might promote me in the business instead of making your own business. In time, the children will mature and then they won't ask me for money with a knight of, of swords. That's what I'm feeling. I'm like, nah, that's not, that's not, that ain't going to happen. Budding romance. New love. Like I said, there's no love here, but that's what the planets is trying to do. All this year is trying to get all the aspects of you sorted. So time next year, you can have new love and it will last because that's why they're sorting out all the little nitty gritties. So you will have a budding ro romance. But if this is still here, this people pleasing, this, this, uh, this not going for your wishes and your desires, this just letting things just play out regardless how long it takes then you won't get a budding romance and like i said this is all about unhealthy attachments right there's an unhealthy attachment right it's a tie and that's why i think that that is to do with family or children or something like yeah look oh my gosh look strong bonds this is kids this is kids you need to cut that tie that's what you have to do Is unhealthy. They're reliant on you. It's you. You're making them unreliant on you. And that's unhealthy. Express your love. Okay. Express. 
express your love, forgiving and learning. It is safe for love. You deserve love. Most of them about love here. So express your love. And, and, and let me put them in a kind of an order. The love, 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 right? Express your love. It is safe for you to love. You deserve love. So this is about, um, yeah, like I said, Neptune is here to get you to have love. And what you're doing is holding on to the tie of your children. I think it's children as um, as love. Because you're not in a relationship. So you're holding on to the tie. But you have to release them and let them go and find your own love. That's what this is about. You deserve love. But like I said, this tie, even if you get in a relationship, what are you going to do? You're still going to be paying for your children whilst you're in a relationship. This is forgiving and learning. So you could be doing this from a pattern. For example, if you were brought up in a domestic violence environment with a partner who used to beat you or whatever, right? And your kids was around that. Not saying your partner beat your children, but maybe they were shouting arguments and it was around your children. This is spoiling your children because of what they've seen. Subconsciously, that's what you're doing. That needs to end. That's an unhealthy attachment. You're, you're, um, what is it? You're trying to make up for what they've seen from the past by spoiling them with money. It's a very different, you know, well, I don't know if it's going to resonate with all of you. But that's what this is. And they're trying to end this tie so you can have a healthy relationship in the future without worrying about, oh, your children are going to ask you for money and spoiling them for money and blah, 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 right? That's what this is about. Let's close it out with one of these. I think because it says I love you here, this is about telling your children, look, I love you, but you need to work, you know, fly the nest, something like that, right? I love you. That's to them. This is you. Like I said, you feel guilty. It's a subconscious feeling guilty because you brought your children up in some domestic domestic violence or a nightmare situation and you protected them, but you can't really protect them if they're around in a domestic violence, right? So you're like, oh, fuck, they saw that shit. This is subconscious, right? But so what you're doing is, like I said, you're spoiling your children here. And it's not loving. The universe is like, wake up, get into your masculine and tell them, I love you. But no, because look, I feel guilty. You feel guilty for how it wasn't you, but what your situation. But you have to know that was that's you can. That's what it, it, life is. fucked. everyone has fucked up situations. Right. And you, but your children might not even know that's how you feel. You just got to release that. I'll just say counselling because it's individual, right? And like I said, you feel guilty and you may feel you really screwed up with how you brought up your children or something like that, right? I just get in that with children. I suppose the children ain't out here, but I feel this is their older children maybe. That's what the issue is because if it was young children, which these cards have young children, then, yeah, you spoiled them. I feel this is going into mature children that you're still spoiling. You're still bloody handheld in them and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, what the fuck? No. Right? Let them leave. Let them go and do their own thing. It's it's bad. It's unhealthy for both sides. They're coming reliant on you, and that's not that's not realistic. Right? It's not realistic. If, you, if you're spoiling your child, say you're spoiling your son, and they meet a girlfriend, a, a, a girlfriend or someone right and they weren't spot then you're fucking up that future relationship because of she'll be like well hold on you keep going to your mum for money i have to get my own money i work i pay my own bills we don't match and it might be a perfect love match but you're spoiling that person this is a this is a this is like the devil um an addiction of yours which needs to end that's how bad it is because look Two slow cards. You want love, but you're giving love away. It's, love is about loving yourself. And that's not loving yourself. Keep giving it out to, to show love to children. Because you want, why do you keep doing that? This is this, I don't know. 
repeat myself here. Counselling needed, right? Check out the website. Speak to you later.